Sherry, we were talking about how much women love pumpkin patches and how much guys really don't love pumpkin patches, you know, (sighs) going through the old corn maze and so on. So I thought I had passed because Mary's kids are gone, you know, Hampton's in college. I thought I was out of that. And I went to see my uh, grandchildren last weekend. And Landon said to me, there's a pumpkin patch thing that has just opened up and it's amazing. Let's go. It was just me visiting. Uh, Mary was busy with a wedding. And so I went, okay, let's, let's go. Where is it? It's just down the street. We went last year and boy, it took about 45 minutes just to get a snow cone. But I think if we get there early, we'll be okay. I went, all right. Because I'm looking down at them. We're going to the pumpkin patch. Are we going to the pumpkin patch, Papa? Yes, we are going to the pumpkin patch. So we get in there. This is an enormous pumpkin patch. It's got a bouncy pad. It's got bouncy houses. It's got some food. They got five people that are running the parking lot. So I'm going, oh, God. And I got the two little ones with Landon. So we park the cars, we get them out of their seats and we walk. I want to walk. That took because she wanted to walk. At that point, I don't know why she wanted to walk. She doesn't have a long stride. You know, (laughs) it took a long time to get in there. And finally we're in and there's all the pumpkins you can buy. And they're going, I want this pumpkin. And, and, uh, you know, Christian wanted a great big one. And uh, Elle wanted a little small red one. And then she found another one that had an unusual shape and she named it something. So we've got basically three, but we (laughs) haven't gotten to the snow cones yet. And we're not going to, you have to pay as you go out. So you can't come back in again. So we say, let's put our pumpkins over here. No, someone will steal the pumpkins. They won't steal them. There's there's 9,000 Christian. (laughs) They will steal my pumpkin. They, I promise you. And we get them over there and we go to get the snow cone. And we sit down at a picnic table and we got the snow cone. Do you know how long it takes a two-year-old to eat <laughs> all of a snow I, cone? I do. Yeah, I do. Eternity. And then eternity. And they won't rush it. They, they won't rush it. And, and they want to eat all of it. All of it. Every drop. And there's nothing you can do but... And you can't spend stop that it from hour. melting. It's continually yeah. melting. <laughs> Com- continually. So we did that. And then uh, um, Christian wanted to go on the bouncy pad, which is not, I've never seen a bouncy. It's just this long pad that's blown up. And he's got his socks on. Because I had just come from his soccer game, by the way. And uh, Papa was holding L in his right arm for the soccer game. We can't really call it a soccer game. It's This is the second practice. It's just basically three-year-olds just running wherever the hell they want. That's, that's basically it. And so, you know, that was quite a thing. And, and then we're at the pumpkin patch. And uh, he's running on the bouncing pad, and he's struggling because he's got his socks still on, and he won't take them off. But it's too slippery. You have to have bare feet, really, to do it right. So we go through that, and uh, then it's time to go and get the pumpkins. We've, we've been there about an hour and a half, I guess. <laughs> And we're walking along this pebble uh, driveway to the uh, where the pumpkins are. And for some reason, uh, Elle, at that point, wants to walk again. So she's walking. And she goes, stop, Papa. Stop, Papa. And she goes down and picks up one of the pebbles. They're like little stones. And she goes, oh, I want this. Take this, Papa. I go, okay. Take this one, Papa. Take this one, Papa. Papa, put them in your pocket. (laughs) I stood there for, and I'm not exaggerating, 10 minutes while she put stones in my pocket. (laughs) And then, and I've got, we get to the pumpkins. I've got the big pumpkin in my right arm. And then she says it up, up. I got to pick her up. She wants to be picked up. Either she does or she doesn't. Big pumpkin here, L here, 
and a pocket full of stones. And I'm walking back th- across the field to get to the car. The Bob and Sherry website. The Oddcast. Contest info. BobandSherry.com. Are you working from home? You are? You need to do the rest of us a really big favor right now. If you're invited to do a survey about working at home, you're one of the people working at home, and somebody's doing a survey about how's it going and exactly how, how do you do it, you need to shut up about doing it in your pajamas while listening to music in bed. <laughs> there, was, there was some survey floating around. And I don't remember, I, I hate percentages, but there is a fair percentage that said, I'm in my pajamas, I got my music on, maybe Bob and Sherry on, got my dog there, and I'm working literally in bed. If, if there's a CEO or a president of a company or a middle manager or whoever it may be that gets a hold of that crap, you're... you're Putting it in the uh, dumper for the rest of us. You can't do that. If you are doing that, shut up. Don't yeah, say keep anything. that a secret. <laughs> Jeez. I couldn't even even in the beginning of the COVID lockdowns when all of us were like, well, I ain't going to wear pants. I'm going to eat with my hands because <laughs> like, right. you couldn't do anything right. else. I discovered really, really fast that if I did not get up, take a shower and put clothes on, I couldn't really work. Like I'm just so trained after a lifetime, get up, get dressed, hard pants, leave house, (laughs) go to work. I couldn't do it. And so to this day, and my, my best friend is like, girl, why? I said, because I just can't work any other way. I have to get up, get fully dressed with like jewelry. I mean, like mm-hmm. heart, like dressed. I didn't, don't I you? didn't realize that. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, let me just say, I'll tell you what I do, but let me, let me just say this whole business of working while you're in your pajamas in bed is ridiculous because the headphones don't stretch that far. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They just. <laughs> so that's not well, going to work. Let's ask Lamar because he's he's new to this whole experience. Like he's got a brand new job and a brand new mm-hmm. everything. Lamar, are, I mean, are you getting up every day and getting dressed like you did when you went to Budweiser? The first couple of days, I didn't. I got up, brushed my teeth, and got some coffee. And I'm like, well, hell, nobody's looking at me. So I just, I just came in So here you were naked. You were naked. No, 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 shit, no, huh? no. Even I don't want to see that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but then what? About the second or third day, Carla goes, are, are you not? Are you showering? I said, I am, but it's, <laughs> a, it's after. She goes, she goes. I'm beginning to think you're like my grandfather before he died. You, you, you Ooh, learn the same oh. thing every day. Or, 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 I, so I said, okay. So I started, I started, first thing I do is I get up and I take a shower now yeah. and I go ahead and get ready. And Sherry, you're right. It does make, it makes, it makes a difference. It does. It does. It makes you feel like you're working. So I, I agree. Just, I can't. Yeah. I, I envy people that can be like, I've saw a really funny TikTok. And the woman was like, I'm having one of those, I'm going to take a shower days. So I didn't get dressed when I got up because I was going to take a shower. What was the point of getting dressed? And then, you know, it was like, now it's noon. I mean, I'm going to take a shower here any minute now. So I'm still not getting dressed. Bottom line, it's like midnight and the shower never happened, never got dressed, Mm -hmm. never brushed Mm -hmm. her hair. Because that's what, that's what happens if, like for me. I have to get yeah. at it right away. I the, only have, that, uh, well, the only way that works for me on the weekend, if I get up and do, do that, it's because I'm going to be cutting grass in a little while because I yeah. know I'm going to take a, yeah, yeah that like thing. Yeah. But, yeah. Right. Well, for anybody else that's not working from home and they're wanting to know what it's like, this is drudgery. It's horrible. I wish yeah. I could be, you know, yeah, this is horrible. Y'all don't want to do it. Don't do no, it. It's terrible. You don't. If anybody no. says if anybody says work from home, you say no. Yeah, I refuse. No, don't do it. no, that's it's horrible. Right. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. You could get bed sores. It. So yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's 
terrible. Sometimes people just, they don't realize they don't always have to say everything that's in their head, you know? <laughs> just because you think just, it don't mean you have to say it out loud. No, 